Hi, I'm Mike from BookUp.com. And you are a serious chess player, so you already have a game database like Master Chess, Chess Assistant, Chess Base, Twick. Uh, now you want to know what backsolving does in your copy of Chess Openings Wizard and how it works differently from your game database software. So suppose you have a huge game database and you're preparing your favorite line for white. For this example, it doesn't matter what you play as white, just pretend we're researching your favorite opening. You get to move 12 in your favorite opening for white, and you search for all games that reach that position. And your game database shows you three different moves in this position. The game tree in your game database will show how many games were played with each move. So here, which one's the best move? We could assume that since uh, knight g5 is by far the most popular, 197 games played, that it is the best move. After all, these are games between masters. But what really matters is what kind of success those masters had with these moves. Remember, we're playing white, so let's take a look at the statistics. Okay, white is scoring over 50% with knight g5. It seems like black would avoid this line. So knight g5 is the best move, right? Well, let's look at how the other moves have done. The less popular moves aren't doing as well for white. It's starting to look like we found our best move, knight g5. But you're smarter than that. You go back and search the database only for the games played with this line in the last three years. And it turns out that three years ago, when black was brave enough to play this line, there were only four games. And this line hasn't been played since then. Okay, so this line isn't currently popular. Well, after all, black players would avoid this line, right? Well, then you check out those four games from three years ago. In two of those four games, white played bishop d6. And in the other two games, black did allow this line, and white played knight g5, but black won the games. What's going on here? In those games from three years ago, black obviously allowed this line, even though white could play knight g5, with hundreds of games in the history. And then, when white played knight g5, black won. We have to solve this mystery. So, now you search for games that could have reached this position, but didn't. And you find out that recently, white has been avoiding this position by playing something else back on move 10. Apparently, over the last three years, it's been white who has been avoiding this line. Again, what is going on here? It looks like white has two popular and successful moves. So now you go back and look at those two games with knight g5 from three years ago, the ones where black won. One of the games is annotated. And in, in the notes of that game, the annotator shows how black gets a clear advantage in all variations. So the position after 12 knight g5 is very good for black. Most masters who consider playing this line for white have probably seen that game's annotations. There you have it. The move tree statistics from your game database seem to show you that the line is good for white. And if you arrived at that position as white, you should play 12 knight g5. But we now know knight g5 is a bad move. It also took a lot of work to figure out that knight g5 is actually a bad move. But hey, back solving does that work for you. So assuming you installed, of course, your copy of Chess Openings Wizard Professional. So start using it. And don't worry about pushing that button. Back solving only changes the back solved information. Everything else in your ebook is untouched. So here's what the position might look like in your ebook. There are the candidate moves. There's the back solved informant rate symbol showing that knight g5 reaches a position with a clear advantage for black. Then it shows 1,191 unique variations beyond knight g5. Remember, there were you know 197 games, so some of them had to have annotations. And all it takes is one variation to overturn the entire line. And that variation may have been in the notes to a game, and game database trees would have missed that. 
The other moves would also be back solved. And the three variations after H3 are probably those three games. So here's a question. Remember those three games after 12H3 from the game database tree? One was a win for white, one was a draw, one was win for black. The question is, why did this position back solve to a draw? That equal sign means that in some future branch point in the tree, black plays a move that avoids the game that white won. And at some future branch point, white can play the move that draws rather than the move from the game that were black won. Don't worry about it. Back solving is doing all this heavy lifting. So assuming you've had a uh, chess engine analyze all the final positions in the tree, back solving also solves for the optimum computer assessment. Here, knight g5 gets negative 185. The negative number means that the position is good for black. It's 100 points per pawn. And now you might be thinking, well, back solving is still too, looks too complex. I'll just search my game database for the latest master games with my pet opening lines, and I'll just play that. But you know the problems with that. First of all, mimicking the very latest lines in opening theory makes you incredibly easy to prepare for. It also makes you easy to beat, because your opponent almost never plays the latest lines. So whatever your opponent springs on you, you'll be unprepared in positions where they are prepared. But it's okay, you're using chess openings wizard professional. You know the drill. Do your game re research in Master Chess, Chess Assistant, Skid, Chess Base, or whatever you have. Export the few hundred or thousand games that have your pet variations to PGN. Import the PGN into Chess Openings Wizard and press that back salt button. Now, I don't know if you're using the Windows or Macintosh version or the iPad version, but the process is the same. And there are other videos on the nitty gritty of back solving, including back solving for unique variations or back solving numeric assessments from computer analysis. And don't get me started on how you can use chess engines to find novelties by comparing the computer's numbers to the in back solved and former rate symbols. It is super cool. But anyway, that's for another video. You're already way out of the game when you just back solve your opening and you instantly see which lines need your attention. And thanks for buying my stuff. I get a thrill every time somebody upgrades to the professional version of Cowan because I know it makes a difference to your game. And I talk to cow owners every week and you guys rock. But right now I'm getting back to work on the iPad version. Maybe by the time you watch this video it'll be done. Who knows? And now that you know a little bit more about back solving, it's time for you to put it to work. And let me know if you have questions. If you have questions, log in at bookup.com slash login and choose support after you click on your name.